the um, it's 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 a it's a really really critical um, um, question uh, if we if we're focusing on how we begin to uh, uh, address um, the issues of democracy and how we develop democracy further. Um, um, I, th I, th I think I think uh, that there are certain underlying things we need to have. One is that we accept that this is a continual process of learning. That, 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 that again, that we've never solved it. Well, uh, um, problems don't go away. Power doesn't go away. The problem with power doesn't go away. Uh, it reemerges at every point, um, and that is in the family, and it's in and it's in organisations, and it's in and it's in the in the community, and it's in in the nations. Um, so how do you build an architecture uh, that can begin to uh, enable this kind of dialogue? Um, uh, it's it's a it, the first thing I think we need to do is we to, to take seriously what we mean. That goes back to the first notion of agency to take seriously what we mean. Um, uh, I, I've I've said before that that uh, uh, um, often leaders think that they're doing something in a, in a certain way, but they don't actually do that. But they still think that they're doing it, and that's an extraordinary thought that, that, that we think we're doing something. Um, uh, the the uh, 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 there, there, there's some very good re research by Anne Gregory, which, which works with board members, where uh, uh, members of boards were asked to, to ask what the core values were. And the core values, uh, uh, most of them were able to say, yep, uh, we, we know exactly what they are. They got, the, they got them right and they felt very, very good. They were then asked, can you name a decision that you took in the last 12 months which actually referred to any of those values? And they couldn't think of one. So the first thing you do is to take deliberation seriously. Deliberation and decision making. Coronavirus has helped us on this. That We, we are now thinking, oh, why are we doing this? And shouldn't we be doing that? And, and there's a really, there's a vital conversation going on. We want to go back to work now. No, we mustn't. No, let's, let's think about this. You know, <laughs> that's, you know, uh, as long as we hear those different voices and understand what they're about. That, that that's great that's already democracy uh, and that and that i think needs to have dialogue which is more direct uh, and it, again again it's ha happening with, uh, uh, with with the uk and i'm sure in other places too uh, where the prime minister is subject to questions from ordinary people uh, more of that is critical and the more that they are unrehearsed becomes also critical unrehearsed dialogue is genuine transparency most of the time we rehearse what we want to say and we say it, whatever anybody says. <laughs> so, so our response, politicians especially, um, uh, our response is not at all relevant. We're just trying to get by. Uh, uh, so real conversation where uh, leaders are put to the test. More town halls uh, 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 during Trump's time, I, I, I got the sense that there were more town halls raising questions to local people, to local leaders, uh, and it was it was wonderful to see how uncomfortable those leaders were <laughs> with the questions. Some supported them, some didn't. Um, more of that, I think, and in a sustained way. Uh, yes, there are all, all, all kinds of other ways in which we can begin to develop democracy further uh, around these core notions of, 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 of rights and freedom and uh, dialogue, um, not least uh, by asking uh, 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 in referenda uh, uh, the, the, the citizens to vote on key issues. That's a great thing. Our, our, our Ireland has a, a good a good history of that, and uh, it's astonishing the way in which that really helps to to focus. And that, in, in turn, was developed around a series of people's forums. Um, develop those people's forums. Uh, they're, they're really, really, really crucial, uh, it seems to me. But also, I think we need to de uh, build democracy into things that matter. Yes, uh, um, uh, the, the Irish voters voted on, on things like abortion, things that did matter. Uh, but actually, in your local community, what matters? 
Uh, I want to give an example of local democracy, regional democracy, which really worked and why it worked. Uh, and, th and then I'll be quiet. Uh, uh, um, and that's the Amsterdam Child Obesity Project. Um, now you would think, what has obesity got to do with democracy? Um, well, actually, everything, <laughs> because obesity uh, is uh, childhood obesity is, uh, 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 is, is, is core to the problem of health and, and, and lack of health. Uh, uh, the government is focused on developing health. It is part of our political world. Um, uh, enabling people to develop health is part of our respect for, 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 the, for the people. Uh, but actually, you know, uh, what they tried to do uh, at various points was uh, nice, easy, single uh, driven solutions towards this and they never worked. Only when uh, the whole of Amsterdam came together did it work. And you had a local, you, know, you, you, you had two organizations, the, the local authority and the, and the healthcare group. They co-led this project. Uh, and then they, they, all the stakeholders were involved. Everyone, business included. A business was included uh, uh, only when they accepted that they had certain responsibilities. Uh, and when you analyze this, uh, and if you want to see a, uh, an example of this, do forgive this very crude, uh, very crude publicity. Uh, just out, nursing and healthcare ethics. Uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's arguing that nursing is connected to the wider political and organization ethics. Uh, and, the, and this case study is, is there in detail if you want to have a look at it. But the, but, but the case, the, the critical point about this case study is that the different groups began to develop responsibility and that was empowering. And I want to just focus on one of the groups and that was the parents of the children. Um, I'd never realized quite until I looked at this case study that one of the three critical elements for dealing with childhood obesity is sleep. If you don't get good sleep patterns, you're not, you're not gonna get this under control. So they, they began to talk to the parents and every one of them said, we find it really hard to get our children to bed. It's a basic, simple notion, isn't it? You know? um, uh, but they found it hard to get them to bed and to sleep. And so with some of the experts and with local carers, it began to develop the responsibility of the parents. Wow. They actually began to see different ways in which they could help children to get to bed and do it in such a way that, that the children actually de determined for themselves. They had agency. They wanted to go to bed. <laughs> uh, I think I was including the children in the dialogue. Back to your point with here. The vulnerable, uh, you know, how do we include the disabled in this in this kind of conversation? Uh, crucial. Um, but but what was striking was was the sense of, of freedom uh, and the sense of being freed up that was there for the parents, uh, and they found that through the practice of responsibility. That uh, yeah, for me that's wonderful. Uh, 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 initially, they said, "Okay, you know, we, we, we'll provide all their meals. Uh, they, they, they won't buy from 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 the McBurgers store or, or, or whatever." And they sent them to school with uh, orange juice. But then the, the expert said, "No, no, orange juice is no good um, for all kinds of reasons. <laughs> uh, so water." They, they were learning all the time, and they were developing responsibility. Um, and that happened across the piece uh, with sport. Uh, with business, with, all, with, with, the, with the whole area. The result was the childhood obesity in that five years fell by 13%. It works. Uh, you, you, you can, you can uh, develop uh, and, and really inspire people to democracy by the fruits of democracy. What are the fruits? And the fruits should not be simply, you get what you want, uh, vote for me and I'll give you what you want. Uh, the fruit should be how our nation, our locality, develop our shared well-being, how we develop our shared responsibility for that. Uh, and there are many exciting examples of that. Uh, uh, so I, 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 would, I would suggest that it keeps going back down to um, uh, what we can do, how we can create. As a Christian, this is about co-creation. 
Uh, I've worked with, a, 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 worked with many Islamic thinkers who, who share the same notion. Uh, it, 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 is, it is co-creation. Um, and, and eventually we feel a responsibility for everything. Um, uh, we may not take responsibility for everything, we feel it and we, we're able to negotiate it. Uh, so uh, that, that kind of dialogue, uh, and finally, uh, a, 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 a dialogue which builds between different groups, um, um, quite critical in business uh, and healthcare, uh, healthcare and higher education, uh, higher education, and, and all of them trying to learn where they're coming from. Uh, uh, the, my, my final illustration on that is I was working with um, uh, uh, different groups in a university in uh, in, uh, uh, in Perth uh, 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 in 2018. Uh, and as the different groups talked about their core values and their core hopes and their core uh, aims, you could see it, the other groups' eyes widening. They, they were surprised. They, they, they were surprised. They assumed that the administrator was just a narrow-minded accountant, <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> he, he had the same values of care and, and, and hope and well-being as the doctors and the nurses. And uh, suddenly they, they, they were thinking, well, how can we work together on this? Uh, how can we ensure that the differences that are at the heart of our organisation become part of a shared narrative. Um, uh, that's where we begin uh, in, in, in really opening up to those differences.